Hello and welcome back to the Outer Worlds, where uh, we have to. Uh, we are on a big, important mission to infiltrate the uh, head center of power, the Acropolis district of the board. Hey, Max, got any interesting prison stories? Do people really trade cigarettes like bits? Among other things. Got any recipes for bathtub hooch? I've always wanted to try the real stuff. We didn't have bathtubs. We made it in toilets. Ooh. Quite the interesting taste. I think Ellie wants to be slumming it a little bit. Well, I think all her life she's kind of been slumming it. But uh, who? Suddenly lockpicks just lying out on the street. Thank you. But yes, I think uh, the best way to infiltrate the Acropolis uh, district will be oh, through the maintenance the tunnels. Yeah, sure. Uh, because the maintenance tunnels uh, we've already kind of cleared out. So it should be an easy romp down there. Hmm. I'm really tempted to upgrade my guns, but uh, I don't know. Let's wait till we have a final decision on our weapon of choice. Doon, 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 doon. It just reminds me of the uh, Fat Boy Slim song. I don't know it by heart. Um, I think this is a dead end. The generators. Hmm. Okay, so, oh, so stairways down here. So yeah, nice piles of ashes. Everything nicely cleared, done and cleaned up. Okay, down here. Because yeah, we already went here and cleared all this out, so... This should head us straight to the Acropolis district, I believe. Not every service so needs to be solved with a gun, some can be handled with a big hammer. I never could have handled the desk job. Right, so uh, nicely passed on by. Wow, they did indeed have a very big... Uh, very big uh, security force here. Office clerk, office clerk, hello. Sorry, I shouldn't talk. Not signing a waiver. It's Ministry of Accuracy and Morale to unlock. Okay. Guess we'll have to find that somewhere out here. For now, I uh, guess this is the big office. <laughs> Well, this is busier than I thought. Like we belong. Hmm, well, I do look like I belong. I have to pick, because uh, if we look at that, yes. Wait, no. There, you see? I have the gun holstered, so I'm just fancy suiting and uh, fancy hatting. I look fabulous. Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Anti Clio. A subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. Oh, I didn't know it was a subsidiary. I thought they were pretty independent. Today's greeting is brought to you by Anti Clio, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. Yeah, you already gave me that one, so that's worthless. Just employees. Uh, guess we have to pass through here. Hello. So what if those MSI suits made it on Monarch this whole time? I could do it. Easy. You hear about that dissident working in that clothing store? This is why we've got to be vigilant. I want to murder you so bad right now. Dear Celeste was taken and she was not a dissident. Maybe a deviant, but I love the deviant. It's a fancy statue. I really like this. I wouldn't mind having this as art. So I guess we have to pass through the security checkpoint. I can look, maybe the other side has a latch failing in security, but no. I think they're pretty good with that here. Well, I guess we have to go through. Uh, Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. Uh, let's show him the card. Is this official enough? Huh. 
I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. Oh dear, that's a lot. Okay, fine. Now let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of forms? Do you really need so many forms to bring weapons in? How about you both save us uh, some trouble and just let me through? I was gonna suggest that myself. Very Look, good. You don't have time to wait on new forms. And I can't afford the citations for impeding HAC business. So I'm gonna save us both some trouble and waive your forms. My divine of you. Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny and they'll paint the walls with your guts. No, but these walls are already so finely painted, I won't uh, cause them that trouble. And if so, I think their blood will make for better paint. Up we go! Alright, hello there. Uh, what do we have around here? Yeah, tweet, tweet, tweet. So these are all locked. This seems to be locked, maybe. Oh, we need more lock picking. 100 in lock picking. Can we get there? Because we might be able to get there if we put the right stuff on. Actually, no, we can't get there. Unless we switch party members to... I think Parvati gives a bonus to lockpicking. Yeah, tweet, tweet, tweet. We open this up. Excuse me, just a moment. Oh! Hello? Is there something Hi. I can do for you? Hello. I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. Well, you should get back to your desk. I saw somebody eyeing your stationery, actually. What? Oh, dear. Thank you for reminding me. I can't stand the thought of someone else's hands touching my custom letterheads. Oh, yes, very important. Bye-bye. I'll just close this door. Why did it put a hole through this wall? Okay. Just goes to show you never really see your hometown until you travel with a visitor. That's a nice view. Yes, very cheerful there, buddy. Let's see what else we can nab while we're in here. Cool stuff. Right, let's just grab his liquor. I mean, it just goes to waste here anyway. I don't think there's any much, any fun drinking here going on. Yes, yes. Drink, drink, drink. Okay, the chance. Alrighty then. Let us head on in here. Oh, we need more hack. But we might be able to get there if we upgrade our items. So let's actually exit. So we need to get hack up. We do have some things that improve hack. Hack plus seven. Tech skills plus five. Lockbreaking plus five. Medical, block, sneak, dodge, that's actually pretty good, have a dodge skill on there. That one gives hack specifically, let's put that on. Aha, and now we have hack uh, 100, shipment status report. 
Dimethyl sulfoxide, 64 gallons, full quality, unavailable, partial quality, received by Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Benzene, 75 gallons, full quantity, uh, received by Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Sodium hypochroxide, received at Docking Bay 2, awaiting shipment from Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. I don't know what sodium hypochlorite is. Uh, let's see if you priority message. Rough cut of representation for the PR department. You'll see the current version when you print the key card of the uh, Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Yes. And yes, before you ask yourself, it has been delivered there. Okay. Let's print the key. Ooh. Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell. And I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. You've As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. No, it doesn't. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together. Very and that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds really solve the are not problem good with of the our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis, so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let, let's go again. And someday, in the not too distant future, when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again, working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate mandated grooming rituals. And rest assured, with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. Oh no, I think there's plenty of worries to worry about. And again, the board is not really on your side well, in this. That was some quite distressing information. I don't know about you, but I'm all for living fast and dying young. There's something weighing on my mind. Okay, yes, I think we'll have to speak with this uh, later. Uh, Send those messages to Earth. It's taking so long. Masseuse, oh. Yeah, the board doesn't like me, but saw them. They killed my dear Celeste. So, that is some uh, distressing information. Regardless, we have not gotten our thing yet. Uh, let's actually speak with our companions. If I still believed in the grand plan, a revelation like this would have seriously shaken my faith. Knowing you, I can only assume you have already begun formulating a plan to deal with this. So tell me, what are we going to do? Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to dig more into this issue to sort it all out. Yes, of course. And when you do, you can count on me to back your play. Oh, thank you your very ability much. Your to Vic. get out of tight situations virtually undetected hasn't failed us so far. Oh, yes. Anything you'd like to discuss? I also like to get into tight situations into tight, you know, not out of there. Yeah, you know. Uh, I'll get back to you. I really want to actually go into that other room. Something on your mind? Oh, she doesn't have uh, feedback on this. Let's see, how are my skills actually right now? Let's 
So lock picking is just straight sexy. I don't get anything from my companions. We could switch out companions real quick and come back. I think that's a good idea. Because, yeah, I do kind of want to uh, see what's in here. So this is very, very fascinating. So I'll just uh, switch out someone that helps me with lock picking, probably Pavati or something. And then I'll be right back with you. Okay, we are back. And now with Pavati helping us with our uh, lock picking skills. And now it's already at 99. And I have not even put on the right equipment yet. So let us put on some equipment to help with lock picking. Armors. So let's see. We have um, this one helps with lock picking plus five. And I think we even have, um, yeah, save crackers plus 10. There we go. Also, you may even be able to do it without, but uh, this helps a lot. Okay, let's be sneaky. Great work. All right, so this is a meeting room that we've gotten ourselves into. Oh, it seems to be just a meeting room we've gotten ourselves into. Well, that is disappointing. I do think getting Pavati along will be handy, so we might be more, more locks we need picking. At least we got a very big supply of booze. Besides cigarettes, maybe another keycard somewhere left behind? Maybe? Something fancy? Ah, I think this is just disappointing. I mean, it's pretty. It's not useful. Just like a lot of people on the board. Oh, yeah! Now, Rocco was not exactly pretty. He was kind of had very creepy lips. And he was a dick, quite clearly. Okay, nothing interesting here. Let us go infiltrate the other place. Hello, can we leave? Hmm. Is the elevator coming up? I hope so. Let's put our fancy snazzy new suit on as well. Or our standard fancy suit. Waka boom! I would like to. Yes, thank you! the fancy nice ooh that's a nice chandelier but I miss the elevator music do we really need all this security I have to go through three checkpoints just to take a bathroom break yeah no you don't need it because it's not helpful alright so next up Ministry of Accuracy and something something. We have a key card. That's a really cool revolver that girl has in the poster. It had like 12 chambers in it. Okay, it is a little bit more humble. No, no, it has a lot of gold in it. It's not humble at all. But it does feel a lot less grand. It does feel very rich, though. Who are you? Don't let the guards hear you asking questions or peeking in the back. Uh, we will. We'll peek wherever we like. I am a regular peeking Tom. Hmm. Is that a hope? Maybe. Corporate a commander. UTL security attendant is always prepared. Uh huh. Well, I don't know prepared for what, but uh, that's fine if you think that. Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off limits to everyone without X-36 level clearance. Basically, if you don't work here, or for Chairman Rockwell himself, you're not getting in. Hmm. I uh, do have how about this clearance. I don't know how you got that, but I still don't know you, and I don't have any new clearances on the list. 
Oh, you must not be up to date on the Z532 uh, clearance. What are you talking about? There's no such thing. Oh yeah? Sure there is. You don't have clearance to know about it? What? There's no way. I'm cleared to know about all clearances. I mean, I've gotta be, right? Are you sure? <laughs> That's precious and sad. You don't have to patronize me. Go on through. And let's pretend this conversation never happened. Thank you. Yeah. I am so smart. So I'm first going to look at all this art first. Ooh, fancy. I think I'm going to start taking my lunches out in the city. That woman from downstairs is still in the cafeteria. That scientist? The one who's been hounding the clerks? Ooh, it's made of shutters too. HR. They're all pretty unpleasant. Okay, no one in HR right now. Predictable. Employees' rights under the Bias Labor Standard Act, wage determined by merit of your work. Overtime may result in higher pay if quality of said work is considered exemplary. Your employer has the right to dock your pay should, your de should you damage any facilities or equipment. It's responsibility, not to your employees. To avoid workplace hazards, Halcyon Connolly, Department of Labor. I don't think those are very good labor rights, but I will not say I'm an expert. Let's actually just close this door, because they don't need to see us hacking into these systems. Okay, welcome to Halcyon Human Resource Department. Viewers complaint. Keep eating my purple by lunch. Stains, working lot. There, I did it. I screamed a little. That felt good. Okay, I don't see how this helps me very much, but apparently it did give me a quest update. I don't see how it particularly helps me, but uh, well. Hello, I'm allowed to be here. I think this leads to, uh, yeah, this leads to where that guard is. So we have a walk here. There's a bunch of guards here. Corporal trooper patrolling the hallway. TNL. Yeah, that's a cool gun. Alright, Pavati, please let the guards by so he doesn't trouble us as we break this open. Stop. I don't see what's useful about this. There are important records here that we can steal. I suppose we can use it to sneak behind the troopers uh, that are standing in the way in the center there. Because I don't see how this room is otherwise is very useful. Yeah, I guess we can use it to sneak by here. And what would be in the other room? I don't think they would like me picking this open. They are staring straight at me and everything. I'm not gonna risk it. I'll just run them by. I can kill these guys later if I piss them off. But for now, I want to try this sneakily and peacefully. Ooh, this goes down. This elevator feels a little bit bumpy. And I hear sprats. Restricted area, I need a board ID. What's okay. this I hear about you ordering more tests performed with sample 4157? That batch failed spectacularly. I saw a variance in the results that we never accounted for, so I had the techs run the trial mm. again. And the results were 0.003% so different. Yeah, more secret experiments. Do the words statistically insignificant mean anything to you? 
Of course, but we're obligated to explore every possibility. We're obligated to get a working formula before Akande has us all in tanks to help test the next batch of samples. Now get to work! Ooh, I sense a lot of fear in her voice. Anyways, I think we'll explore this secret laboratory in the next episode. So, until that one, bye bye.